Welcome back. There's a new superfood on the market in the form of a spice. That's right. Celebrity chef Maria Ibrahim created superfood sprinkles. She joins us live this morning to tell us all about it. Good morning and thanks for Good being morning. here. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here. All right. Superfood sprinkle. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. So it's a great story. I was really inspired by my own culture of Egypt where we have so many superfoods. Um, and then just being a chef and a nutritionist, taking what I know and blending it with my culture's mm -hmm. superfoods really is what encouraged me to create the spice blend because a lot of our food is really devoid of nutrients that we need on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I learned that when you go and buy spinach, for example, it's already lost about 90% of its nutrients by the time you bring it home. So this is a really easy, flavor-filled way to add over 300 phytonutrients to every dish. Wow, so what's in it exactly, if you can give us So yeah, it's, it's a blend of all different um, herbs and spices, and one key ingredient is black cumin seed. And that's mm -hmm. what I grew up with in Egypt. And black cumin seed is known for numerous benefits from helping with stomach upset, to inflammation, to even shrinking cancer tumors. So black cumin seed is the star, and then we have black and white sesame seeds. We have an organic mushroom blend, which has chaga, reishi, and lion's mane, which is great for your brain cognitive function, uh, a really powerful adaptogen. It's got turmeric for inflammation, black pepper, garlic, and Himalayan pink salt, and nutritional yeast. So you're actually getting some protein and really important B vitamins. And then we have a spicy blend, which is the hot stuff. So if you like spice, you want the hot stuff. And this has cayenne pepper and black mustard powder. So again, really, really flavor filled, but all functional. Now you bring up flavor filled. What kind of flavor are we talking about? So have a particular flavor and then what would you pair these with? Yeah, um, what's, what's really cool is these are very umami, which mm -hmm. means kind of like flavorful and well-rounded flavors, especially because of the mushroom powder. But they're really versatile. I mean, I have them here on little crispy rice cakes yeah. with some uh, tomato sashimi and a little Japanese mustard, uh, Japanese mayonnaise rather. And I have the hot stuff sprinkled on that. And then I have a cucumber salad. Cucumber salad's really viral right yeah. now. I make my own version spiralized in a lebni sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, and I used our chef's kiss on that one. So that one's gonna be more your everyday spice, more mild. You can sprinkle it on literally cream cheese and bagels. Um, eggs, it's wonderful on eggs. Um, we crust chicken with it. I have a great recipe on our Ooh. website for chicken tenders with that spice blend. And it just gives everything a punch. So mm. the fact that it's so versatile and it's not really one specific ethnicity, so to speak, mm -hmm. sure. um, makes it so that you can enjoy it basically on every popcorn yeah even. i mean i'm lebanese armenian so this oh, is music cool. to my ears the lebni all of that i i totally understand that yeah. so you talked a little bit about your heritage and how this came to be why did you decide to do a spice you could have done so many different things why a spice yeah i was back in egypt in january with my family and we went to the spice markets of aswan and i was just so enamored by these spice markets and everything that they were telling us about the extensive uses of these spices. And it just reminded me that spices are so powerful mm -hmm. and they end up just being like this kind of side thought, but they can really be a focus for health. Mm -hmm. um, and for the longest time before we had modern medicine, spices were used for every ailment. You know, mm -hmm. you would take garlic as an antibiotic, yeah. you know, <laughs> you would, you would eat onions if you had an infection, you know, you would, um, Pregnant women would, would take fenugreek in order to, you know, produce milk. So knowing all of these amazing functions of these spices encourage that. And then being a chef and nutritionist, I've always lived at that intersection of nutrition, health and nutrition, and culinary. Mm -hmm. And this is just a way to appreciate that and give that little, mm -hmm. you know, bit of culture and flavor to everybody that tries it. Well, you have a book out here. Yeah. Kristen, I really enjoy the title. <laughs> You're a fit foodie, yeah. as you call yourself. What kind of philosophy do you live by, if any? And then what would you tell people out there would they approach their own nutritional habits they have? Yeah, yeah. Fitness is a big part of my life. I'm actually uh, an amateur bodybuilder, too. Ooh. And, um, you know, when you eat to thrive, 
you feed the whole, the whole of you. And so you feel better, you perform better, you think better. I mean, I'm 55 now and I have more energy and I feel more vital than I did in my 20s and 30s. So it's never too late. Um, eating whole foods is key. Knowing the source of your food, making sure that you're staying as close to nature as possible. You know, if you're eating meat, that it's raised humanely, without pesticides, without additional hormones. And that really will get you across the finish line. And yeah. drink lots of water. <laughs> Water's really important. Yeah. I mean, I feel really <laughs> motivated after this conversation. You know, sometimes out of convenience, you have this, you have that. But what are you actually putting into your body? So that's a really great question. And you can make fit food convenient. Um, mm -hmm. I teach meal prep. I actually have a meal prep app that's going to be coming out very soon where you can put in your goals and it will give you a customized meal app, uh, meal plan for your needs, your specific needs, because your needs are different than yours and are yeah. different than mine. Um, but the premise is eat the rainbow. Mm -hmm. So you'll find in my book a lot of color. Um, eat a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. Eat single ingredient grains. Eat good high protein. High protein's really important, especially for us midlife women, um, and uh, enjoy your food. Eat intentionally. Chew it slowly. Eat with people you love. Mm -hmm. And our tagline for Superfood Sprinkle is sprinkle love. I you love know, that. food is love and it's yeah. gathering, and, and that's really the love language. Definitely. Well, this is such an incredible conversation. Thank you so much for being here, for sharing this with our viewers. We'll have the link to Chef Maria's book on our mobile app and website, along with everything we just discussed in this wonderful segment. Thanks again for being here. Thank you, guys. Yeah.